hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter minutes machine so for today's video we're going to be talking about how to be confident as a plus size woman because most of the time people think that because you're plus size or you're heavier it means that you're not confident or you don't love yourself but baby boy baby girl no let me tell you that it is not true okay so the first thing i want to tell anybody that is working on being confident is always telling yourself that you are that girl okay the more you tell yourself that trust and believe you will believe it like look at yourself in the mirror every single morning when you wake up whether you haven't brushed your teeth whether you don't have your wig on your hair is not brushed and keep telling yourself that oh yeah I, I, I look really good like let me get my mirror and tell you guys this is how when I started my journey this is what I would do I can be in the mirror I'm talking about hot breath and everything I'll be in the mirror like ooh okay girl you look good I'm talking about my cornrow okay no wigs I'll be like oh girl you look good okay the skin is coming together okay I will literally try to compliment myself every morning even while brushing my teeth i'll be looking at the mirror okay look at you girl like literally i kept telling myself like girl you look good like i kept telling myself these positive words of affirmation telling myself how great i look how, how i'm the baddest girl walking on earth and literally the more you tell yourself these things i promise you you will end up believing it and it will become who you are for real because me getting those comments in my DM got me really thinking like, wow, like people are really out here thinking because you're a plus size, you shouldn't feel confident or you should be hiding and covering. Because one thing about me, I love wearing form-fitted dresses, whether my roles are showing or not, I do not care. Like that's how I like to show up and show out. And let me tell you something, I'm not trying to throw myself flowers, but when I walk in the room, any room at that, okay, I always feel like I'm the baddest. Like... And that's for me talking to myself in the mirror, literally. And also, don't let anybody be like, oh, that dress don't look good on you. Why are you wearing that? Your back rolls are showing. Baby girl, if when you're wearing that dress, you feel like you look good, and you told yourself in the mirror that, oh, yeah, I look good. This look good on me. I love this. Keep it on. Don't let anybody make you not wear something because you look a certain way because that was one thing that was really that was really like in the back of my mind because i would wear something and then you know I'm, I'm an african and i would wear like my little short dresses to go to the club with my heels and then i have people around me tell me oh that's too short oh like your thighs are showing like all these things like, am i supposed to go to the club wearing like summer length dresses like what you know what i'm saying but then when I wear my outfit or when I do my makeup, the fact that I be like, oh, yes, girl, you look good. Trust me, whatever people outside tell me does not affect me. It's literally none of my business. Because one thing I was told in the past was like, girl, you act like you're the ish. Baby boy, baby girl, I am the ish. I don't have to act like it. I am. So those are people that have problems within themselves. Like they don't feel confident within themselves. And they see you, a bigger girl, feeling that way and... Is bothering them so if you are a plus size babes you are the baddest let me tell you that today you are the baddest you look good you look great and another thing is if you want to lose weight make sure you do it for you okay because right now I'm on a weight loss journey for myself because in the past one thing that was also affecting the way I felt about myself was people telling me you need to lose weight like you weren't like that before because I wasn't big before I, I know how it feels to be skinny because I used to be skinny in the past I was skinny with a nice body, you know when I was in high school. So Towards the end of high school I started gaining weight and you know here we are but we're working towards losing the weight So that's not even a problem. But anyways, I also do classes on how to lose weight if you guys are interested Just go ahead and reach out to me. my emails in the description box down below and I got you guys I have a magical tea as well that helps you drop pounds quick. I'm talking about quick. Okay, First month, your girl lost 20 pounds. Okay? But yeah, guys, that's just for those that actually want to lose weight. Do not let anybody force you or make you lose weight because you will end up not doing it for yourself, which is why you most likely end up giving up because it's going to be like, why am I even doing this? Because people are telling me to, okay? Some people getting told to do something and them doing it is a way for them to try to prove others wrong. But others like myself... I don't like being told what to do. I like to do things on my own terms. So if you're like me, please make sure you do it on your own term, okay? But while you are still a plus size, make sure you tell yourself on the mirror that you are that girl. You look great. You are the baddest 
girl walking on earth. And the more you tell yourself these things, trust me, you will believe it. So another advice I give people that are actually working on being confident as a plus size is do the things that you love. Like, make sure you take good care of yourself, okay? If it's getting your nails done, make sure you do it. Your feet done, make sure you do it. Um, your hair done, make sure you do it, okay? Make sure you actually take good care of yourself. You ain't gotta go and get your nails done at the nail shop, no. But you can go to the dollar store and get yourself the $1 press on nails and put them on. Give yourself a at-home pedicure and paint it whatever color you want. Also, dollar store has nail polish, so you pick the color you want. You can make it match with your press on or whatever the case is. Make sure if that is what will make you feel good, make sure you do it. Cause we don't always have 35 to $40 to get our nails done, right? We don't always have $45 to get our feet done. But make sure if that is what will help you feel confident, do it and do it on a budget. Good thing about press on nails is they are reusable. You can use them over and over. Also, Amazon do have clear press on nails. They sell it in bulk, okay? And you can literally buy it for like under $15 and it comes about 400 to 500 clear press on nails and all you do have to do is glue them on and paint it yourself you know what i'm saying so you can just go ahead and invest in that so your nails are always looking good your feet are always looking good and your hair you can invest in nice wigs like this wig by the way it's a synthetic wig and it's actually under 50 dollars literally save your coins get yourself one of these wigs and all you have to do is pop it on when you want to feel like you're that girl. If you have long hair, it's easy. Go on YouTube. YouTube is your best friend, okay? YouTube have easy hairstyle that you can do with your natural hair so you can still look good and put together. If that is what will help you feel like you are that girl. So another thing I would advise you to do is make sure you invest in some good perfume. I can put you guys on two different perfume brands that actually make dupes of high-end perfumes and they actually smell like the real thing for a cheaper price if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section down below i'll make that video for you guys i'm talking about i literally own those perfume and they smell so good so the reason why i think smelling good is very important in being confident is that you can look the part right you can look all together but i feel like smelling good take it up couple notches even for you because personally i use my spray when i go to bed literally i take my nighttime shower use my face cream, moisturize my lips, and use my spray before I go to bed. It, and I even feel great, literally. I'm wearing my pajamas and I'm spraying myself because I love smelling good. And when I go out, that's when I wear my perfume. So my sprays are just for at home and, you know, when I go to bed. But my perfumes is when I'm actually stepping out. Make sure you do invest in some type of perfume and spray, you know. You can... Definitely let me know if you want me to put you guys on on the companies I'm talking about for the dupes literally the dupes are really really good So you can you wear those dupes when it comes down to going out or stepping out of the house And when you're in the house, you can just use bath and body work sprays those work fine as well But I love smelling good. Okay, even before filming this video. I had to spray myself I really do love smelling good. So the last thing I want to talk about is outfit okay if you're the type of girl that likes to wear form-fitted outfit like me make sure you invest into a shapewear you can invest into the shapewear that actually like hold you tight or you can just invest into those that are literally just like you know stretchy you know so you look together when you have those outfit on and you don't look all over the place okay and if your style is oversized type of girl you know, you like to wear oversized t-shirt, oversized pants, then it's a bit easier for you because you don't have to be worried about being compressed under, you know, those tight dresses that we love to wear. Just make sure you know how to adjust those outfits, how to make it look good. There's people on YouTube that literally make videos on how to style certain outfit, especially as a plus size girl. You need to know your body, you need to know what looks good on you. And no matter what people outside are telling you, you already know when you left your house that day, you know you look good, okay? So make sure you know that you are that girl any time of the day, okay? So I know that in this video I talked about, you know, making sure you look good, feel good, smell good. But also, you want to make sure that for you to feel confident, you do all the things that makes you happy and makes you feel like you are that girl. Some days you will not feel as confident as others. If those days you need to put a bit more makeup, go ahead and do it. If those days you just need to change your hairstyle a little bit, make sure you do it. But make sure you always do things for yourself. Do not worry about others. Do not let others break it down because you can work on yourself and become 
becoming that girl and being confident but people from the outside world may try to break that down because they can see that you are glowing you are loving yourself they may try to say things or do things that will make you feel like you know you're not that girl but always remember you are that girl and make sure you keep building that confidence up and if you're a confident plus size babes like myself definitely let's chat down below and if you enjoyed this video please let me know down below as well follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be in the description box down below for your convenience don't forget to subscribe if you are new that helps me a lot turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and i'll catch you guys in my next one Mwah. bye guys